Hi Aries, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing your general spread. I like to do them every week and a half to two weeks. This is general, so it will not resonate with everyone and energies can be moved around. This is good for all placements for the sign of Aries. Right now, I'm going to uh, get some cards about your strongest energies. I'll be looking at the recent past, the crossing energies, the person you're dealing with, and what's headed in. The card that flipped out was silence. So right now, I feel like you're waiting to hear something or you're waiting to find something out. All right, let's look. Strongest energies, please. Around the sign of my Aries. This reading is for... What do you want to show me? Pardon me. About the strongest energies for the beautiful sign of Aries. Show me the strongest energies. Thank you. Thank you. Around the sign of Aries. Anything else? Anything else? No, but they gave me a lot of cards, Aries. Your readings are always so interesting. I have uh, Beyond Illusion, and I have Stress, and then I have Conditioning, and that's where I'm going to stop, right there. Okay, one more. I just heard one more, and it's the dream. It's something around you that you truly want, that it's something that you think about all the time, but you're starting to question yourself, is this an illusion? But there's something around you that you have the strength you know, um, you're conditioning yourself for something here and you may be getting a little stressed out about something because when the dream card shows up to me beyond, um, with illusion, beyond illusion in the dream, this is something that I feel you're going through right now because it's strengthening you for something that is your calling. I just kind of feel that. I don't know why. Pardon me. I need to wear my glasses. My eyes are just a little blurry. I have creativity. And I have, yeah, I have new vision. This is something that you're trying to create for your life, Aries. It could be with a job, a relationship, but it's something you have a vision with that is your dream. I do have playfulness and I have possibilities and I have comparison. Well, I kind of feel with the comparison tree here, it's like you're trying to get something started in your life and you keep comparing it to something that is bigger than you something that is more structured than you you know um it's like you're going up against the oak and you're just the tiny little sprout but i feel this is telling me to tell you to go the distance with something and it's with possibilities and i have playfulness so they want me to tell you to play with something around you right now there's so many possibilities right now around you so many with the illusion and the dream this is something that the only thing that's stopping you from going for something is you're getting stressed up about it it's telling me to tell you not to because i have conditioning it's like it's conditioning you for something big i do have tur turning in literally like tapping into something and i have it with thunderbolt that is the tower card and then i have success success i have conditioning yourself right now for success for success of a bigger career, a bigger relationship, a better relationship. It's like turning in about the things in your life that have been nothing but thunderbolts. In other words, maybe maybe it started to eat at something that you thought was your dream. But I feel like they're telling me to tell you, don't give up on it. Play with it. Condition yourself. Be creative. Have that vision. That's what I feel. Last card they gave me is they want me to tell you, change. I do believe that, let's look at the incoming in a minute, but this is about something that is about to change in your life and it's going to play out in your favor. That's a big card. I just kind of feel the big message is to tell me to tell you not to give up on something. Not to give up. And don't compare yourself to something that once was or something that looks bigger to yourself. And uh, turning in, turning into your instincts, your inner knowing. Hmm. All right, let's look. Let's look at your recent past. The High Priestess on the bottom. I never knew who I'm going to choose. Recent past, please, for the beautiful sign of my Aries. Tell me a little bit. Better make some room. <laughs> 
Thank you, spirit guides. Recent past for the sign of Aries. Show, my, show me why these are in their current. Recent past, please. For the beautiful sign of Aries. There's the high priestess. What else? Thank you. If you want to show me for the recent past for this sign of Aries. Thank you. Recent past for the sign of Aries. What else do you want to tell me about the recent past? Hmm. Well, something was very unjust. At the bottom of the deck is I have the Nine of Cups with the Sun. And then big old judgment. And that's all I need to see. Uh, the Nine of Cups is something recently in the past that was is definitely your wish. And the Sun, it's something that's bringing you a lot of happiness. It makes you feel good. But with judgment here, I feel like it's telling me to tell you that I just recently in the past you started to evaluate a situation whether you need to give up on it or maybe resurrect it and bring something back to life it has to do with your creativity something you truly want to do mm -hmm. or want oh, you were in reverse i have uh aries showing up all the way over to my left i got the boss in the house i got aries i got the emperor this is something that you were determined to have you're determined to get this is a very strong energy, Aries. This is you. This is something that you have been dedicated to. You put a lot of hard work into. You've been loyal to because in your recent past, you wanted to conquer something. I have the Knight of Cups. This is something you went after with love. It could have been someone else's energy that came into you with a cup of love, a lot of romance. The Knight of Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is always on a mission of love, but this is love energy. And I do feel like this is something that you were going after with love. I really do. It's something recently you wanted to go after with love. But I have something about the situation that has just become completely unjust, unbalanced, unfair. I have Libra in reverse, justice. My cards are not in reverse in the deck. It's only when they come out and they flip in reverse. So it's telling me something recently in your past was very unjust, unbalanced, and I have it with the big hair font, Taurus. That's about getting to a higher level of commitment, higher, a better job, a better relationship. You know, you, you were determined to get there. I have you showing up. You were determined to get something better, but you just felt like the scales were always against you. That's what I'm just feeling. I do have a high priestess who was under the deck. So this is something you've recently have really been tapping into. Maybe being quiet about it because you're just, not 100% sure if what you're really feeling is what you should do. And I think it's yes. I just hear yes. I have the two of wands recently. This is rolling into your current energies. This is fire energy. But this is about you. You're too busy staring into the globe. And I think it's out of fear. I'm not saying you're fearful. But I think it's out of something that you keep reflecting on. Like you're comparing yourself to something recently in the past. I have the two and then I have the ace telling me it's a passionate brand new opportunity. It's something that you keep thinking about but you haven't done anything to get there yet. Or maybe you have tried because with justice in reverse, you felt like no matter what you did, you just couldn't do it. But I'm telling you right now, this is telling me to tell you to move forward with something that you truly, truly want, Aries. Just saying. I have the six of wands, a big card of victory. I have it with the magician, your energy's in your Aries, it's rolling into this, telling me that you can create what it is that you truly want and go after a victory. The last card out is the devil, the Capricorn energy. But this is something or someone that you feel chained to in an unhealthy way. I feel the message to tell me to tell you is get out. If it's with a job, it's time to become unchained from it because it's not making you happy anymore. You know, and I feel like whatever you've been going through recently, it's like you need to get unchained from something because change is rolling in. And whatever you've been going through is not an illusion. There's something here that it is your dream. And I, I think the big message is for me to tell you, you will have success. It's right here. Success, success in your current energies. But you need to be more playful with it and do some more conditioning work on it in creativity and your vision will come to life or person. But let's look at the opposing. If you are not dealing with anyone, 
there's a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming. Oh, Four of Pentacles. Nice. Four of Pentacles is Earth energy, but this is about someone who's really been holding on too tight to their own values, their money. Show me the crossing energies, please, and then I'll be looking at what's coming in for you. <laughs> crossing energies for the beautiful sign of Aries. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. About, thank you. The crossing energies my Aries has been dealing with. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Show me the cards for the crossing energies my Aries has been dealing with. What would you like to tell me? Anything else? Crossing energies? No. Hmm. Underneath the deck, I have Ace of Swords. Oh, wow. Leo got these same cards. This is odd. I do a lot of shuffling, cleansing. The Ace of Swords is someone is having a brand new truth, a brand new clarity about the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is someone who has said things to you to hurt you. Or they're wondering, did they mean what they said? But they're having a new truth about it. They're, they're having full-on crystal clear vision. Huh. Okay. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, a lot of fire energy. But that Two of Wands is someone, you have it too, that is still looking out that window with their hand on the wand. Like, I feel they're waiting for something to change here. They're waiting for something to happen. Because they're having a new truth and new clarity about words. I think there's been some mixed mock communication or something said. Because with the Three of Wands and the Two of Wands, it's like now... They're coming into this energy of, I know this is going to come towards me. I know this is something that I want to happen. Hmm. I'm going to stop there because I got a lot of cards. I do have the High Priestess. This is uh, someone who may have been a little silent, a little um, in a position of really tapping into, is it really what I know? Or am I just kidding myself? Like whoever you've been dealing with has a very strong intuition about something here. I have the lovers. Well, it's not really upside down and it's not really sideways. So this is someone who can't disconnect themselves from a connection with you because they feel you're the one. But they're just questioning something that it's like words have messed this person's head up and they've really been like they have this inner knowing, but I think they're not able to use it. I don't know why I have the Knight of Wands. That's why with the tower. Tower is a big major arcana about someone who's having a lot of rude awakenings, a lot of tower moments. Something in their life has been destroyed from their in and out energy. In other words, maybe they were afraid of something here yeah well I have the eight of swords sideways and I have the chariot cancerian energy so the eight of swords sideways is telling me someone who has been very fearful in their thoughts like their thoughts are keeping them trapped but with the high priestess here it's almost as if this is what's blocking their intuition is their thoughts because they really do feel this connection they feel like wow this could be the one and the chariot showing up is telling me when someone can finally tap into their intuition, when they finally believe what they're feeling and they know when they know they're going to come hauling in after victory and success. That's what the chariot's all about. Water intuitive energy. So I don't know, but um, these energies will shift in two weeks, but this is what they're feeling right now. But uh, let's look at what's coming in for you because I have changed. That was the last card from the dream. Hmm. All right, let's look. Um, let's do some psychic tarot cards for the incoming energies. I just want three or four cards, please, spirit guides, for the incoming energies, strongest for the beautiful sign of Aries. Show me the strongest energies for the incoming energies. Thank you. Hmm. Tell me about the strongest incoming energies, please, for the sign of Aries. 
what would you like to tell me? Thank you. About the incoming energies for the beautiful sign of Aries. A few more cards. One more card. Maybe I got one more. I don't know. Anything else? Nope. Hmm. Underneath the deck, I have awareness. Wow. This is where, in the incoming energies, you're going to see all you need to see with your vision of dreams, of intuition, of creation. And I have it with patience. I think you're about to go for something here. I feel it. And I have financial and material changes for a firm foundation. What's going on, Aries? You going after something big here? It seems like it. Hmm. I have something that is definitely your destiny. And it, I feel that it's been calling to you and you've been fighting it. Like you know there's something in your life that needs to change. I have it with new beginnings. I have power showing up. This is a lot of strength and courage. This is an immense amount of power in the incoming energies. And you ain't backing down. You're going for something here. And it's something that is definitely has been calling to you. It's your destiny. It could be a job. It could be a person. It could be a relationship. But there's new beginnings with that. And I have one card. And I have the devil showing up again. And this was the last card rolling into your current energies. When temptation shows up, it's telling me that get yourself out of this energy of something that you feel may turn into be an unhealthy situation. Because I feel they're telling me you have the power, the strength to overcome anything of self-doubt. I just feel that there's something with the temptation card because I feel, you guys, this is what I do, that is truly your destiny for a new beginning, but you're letting something, I feel, that pulled you in once before that didn't work out, drag you down. And it's telling me to get the power, go after what you really want, and there is a zero new beginning in the incoming energies. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to look, though. I'm going to look. All right. Oh. Six of Swords. I'm going to look at your incoming energies. Incoming. For the beautiful sign of Aries. Show me why these are here in their incoming energy oracles. All right. Tell me about the incoming energies. Thank you. For the sign of Aries. What do you want to tell me, please, for the incoming energies, for the beautiful sign of Aries? Thank you. About the incoming energies. Who is that? Oh, hold on. For the sign of Aries, please. What else do you want to show me? Incoming energies for Aries. Anything else? All right. Underneath the deck is I have the Seven of Cups. Who's underneath that? The Nine of Cups. Wow, you guys. And I have it with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. And who do you think's under that? I got Aries in the house. Big message for you guys. This is telling me that there's something you really want, Aries. And it's time for you to decide because I feel in the incoming energies, is there something recently in the past that you're unhappy with? It's been unjust. And with the seven of cups here and the nine of cups, it's like once you decide it's fulfillment of wishes and see it with a new truth, a new clarity, the ace of swords. And then that's the ultimate stability. And I have it with judgment telling me that this is something that you need to release so something new can be rebirthed in your life. With the High Priestess, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of going after something that is your ultimate stability. That Knight will never back down. That's the Knight of Earth. And the Queen of Pentacles is telling me this is something that you're going to achieve. You're going to achieve. And then I have the Six of Cups, so I'm going to stop there, though. All right, let's look. Who do I have? Uh, first card to my left is the Three of Wands. 
That is your fire energy. I have it with Ace of Cups sideways and the Eight of Wands sideways. So the Eight of Wands sideways is telling me something wants to come towards you, Aries, and it's a new beginning with love. But what's blocking you? Oh, I have the Seven of Swords. This was the card that stuck out sideways in the deck. It's sideways. So I feel because I saw the devil recently and then I saw a temptation. This is something that keeps pulling you in the wrong direction. You know, it's like something that is deceiving you. Or maybe it's things people are saying to you, telling you you can't do it. But I feel like it's telling me you're not in any position of being deceived. Because the card in front of me is the Almighty Empress. That is telling me it's harvest time to put the work into something. Start planting your seeds to harvest them tomorrow. Start nurturing something here. I have the King of Cups. I have the Four of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Four of Wands sideways. And then they gave me the Tower. The Tower is telling me that something in your incoming energies in order for gateways to open, you need to tear something down. Tear down an old structure, an old relationship, an old belief, an old way. Because gateways want to open because I saw change, you guys, and destiny is rolling in. So that five of wands and four of pentacles. Well, this is something that you feel you can't, can't reach the light with. And you always feel like everything is being held back from you. But with the king of love here, the king of water... This is telling me to balance your heart and your mind. Your heart, what it truly wants, and your mind. It's telling me for you to get above your body of emotion and find balance. About the things that you feel you can't get to a higher light with because everything seems to be blocked. But with the Empress Trump and all of that, it's telling me this is harvest time. This is time for you to start putting the work into something, to nurture something, I just, I feel that if it's with a relationship or a person or a job or a career change, I don't know, but that's what the message is. Gateways want to open, but there's something in your life that is no longer helping you. The tower is a card of something that needs to be destroyed for gateways to be open. In other words, tearing down an old belief, leaving an old job, leaving an old relationship so gateways can open. You know, the tower is also about tearing something down so something can be rebuilt in a new way. Because when the Empress shows up, you guys, that's big power, you know, and that is one of the most beautiful major arcanas in the whole deck. And I feel like it's telling me to tell you that there's something here that is a new opportunity with love. It's something you're going to love. It's something you've been wishing for. You just got to start planting some seeds giving birth to new ideas because this whole thing reeks of something you really want, you know, and to go after it. it could be a person. I don't know. All right. A few messages from my spirit guides for you today. <laughs> spirit guides for the beautiful sign of Aries. What would you like to tell them today about this beautiful reading? I feel emperor power. Huh. All right, what would you like to tell me for the beautiful sign of Aries? Thank you. Show me the cards I need to see. A couple of cards for the messages that you'd like to tell Aries today, please. Okay. Two more cards for the sign of Aries. What else do you want to tell them? Anything else that you have for the sign of Aries messages? About the reading anything else I don't think so anything else no they're done I can always tell you guys they gave you two cards all right what do I have mm -hmm. there it is right there I got solutions right there this is the message from my spirit guides about the reading success that comes from objective compromise or compromise Self-control and patience, Aries. I know it's hard, but 
forgiving and healing energy. Letting something go from the past so you can re-get your energy to go after something you really want. It's your dream. Okay. Seven of Michael, Angel Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. I feel like this is telling me to tell you to maybe talk to other people or start to think of something in a new way. Review what it is that you want. You need to do something different. And I do believe that gateways will open. And I think that this is where you're going to have your dreams fulfilled. And this will be upright because it's with the beautiful Empress, you guys. And I just feel it's something that you've been waiting for for a long time. You've been thinking about it for a long time. And they want me to tell you, let go of something that keeps leaving you in a toxic situation because something wants to come flying in for change. Beautiful reading. This is what I have for you today, Aries Nation. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. I love you. Thank you for supporting my channel. If this helped you and it resonated, please remember to like, leave a comment if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful Aries. Thank you for all your love and support. Happy Father's Day to all the dads. And um, I hope this helped you in some way. And many blessings to everyone. Thank you.